think in the end, most of the walks that I've done have been a challenge. Walking with crutches takes um, about one and three quarter times the energy that it takes to walk with two legs. So there's less efficiency there, You're using up more food, using more energy, and the, the distance you go um, is, is harder. But I guess fighting through that is, uh, is a part of that sense of accomplishment that you get at the end of the day. I'm the type of walker who uh, is generally in a hurry. I'm somebody who's quite goal focused and my goal usually on a walk is get to the end. And uh, I tend to be somebody who it can have a tendency to uh, just head down, let's go as fast as we can, let's get to the end. Walking with, with one leg and two crutches you don't have the same feel of where they're going. The small point of contact means that uh, in some situations they grip really well, but in a lot of situations it only requires a hard surface underneath and, and one little rock to roll and, and they'll slip. So I tend to be head down a little bit and uh, you know I'm sure because of that uh, I can miss things along the walk. And to me the Great Ocean Walk is, is totally different to that. It's about getting out into nature and experiencing the beautiful natural environment. I'm a competitive person, I like to win, but uh, this walk has helped to teach me to relax, to slow down, to let things sink in and to enjoy the beauty of our natural world. I definitely believe there's an art to walking. Walking is something that is continually evolving in all of us. You know, it's about the process of getting there rather than the destination and the learning process as your art of walking develops.